So apparently it's true. The whole Jason Lawrence Honda Phoenix deal is done, which a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago, whatever it was rumored because, uh, where was his name? Matt Burkeen was filming at the Club MX track where Phoenix Honda was supposedly getting ready for all this and with Jason Lawrence supposedly getting ready for the AMA arena cross track or arena cross series that he was going to be racing. He wasn't there. People had the rumors that he'd gotten cut. And well, it's actually true. And if you want to watch his full video that he posted on Instagram, it's at the end of this video. You can listen to him talk about it himself, where he basically blows it off like, oh, whatever, it was fine. Which, granted, is probably pretty good. Like, a, a not a bad adult reaction to it. And if you want to pause and read this, this is actually like a full transcript of what he sent to Johnny Hopper. There's two pictures of two screenshots of it. So stop and read this one. Stop and read the next one if you want. But if you watch the watch the end, watch his video, blah, blah, blah. And then if you go to his Instagram and you watch the video right after this, he basically comes out and says, oh, well, I got a new sponsor and they don't make me eat kale salads and lima beans and I can line up tricks in any city that I want. It's just straight up like you had a, a ride, which who knows what really happened. Like he's saying that the team manager didn't want him to have the ride, but the team owner did. And, you know, just whatever. He's kind of playing the victim about it. But then immediately to come out and say, oh, I'm going to be doing a bunch of racing and a bunch of riding. And my new sponsor doesn't care about any like any like series or anything like that. It's like this has been going on for years where every beginning of the year beginning of a series, whatever, you have these little clippets of Jason Lawrence going to be racing a couple 450 rounds this year. Jason Lawrence going to be racing a couple Supercross rounds. And it never happens. Personally, if if you're going to be so mad about not... Or not mad, but like, if your first thing is that you don't have to eat right and you don't have to take care of yourself, no. Like, <laughs> this is a very physical sport, very taxing sport. And if you're not going to take care of yourself, obviously you're not going to do well. But in the comments below, you guys tell me. Him playing the victim, did you think actually something happened or whatnot? Just make sure to comment down below. Like, share, subscribe, do all the fun things this platform allows you to do because it really does help me out. And again, stay to watch the rest of this. You can see his whole, him saying it himself, whatever it is. And with that, I will see y'all later. Peace. I'm no longer riding for Phoenix Honda. I got clipped from that team. So with that, that means that I don't ride at Club MX any longer and I'm not racing the AMA Arena Cross Series. Uh, I don't really have much that I want to say about what happened to get to this point, but Johnny Hopper might tell you. The thing I'm most bummed about is not being local to Club MX and riding there. That place is so heavy that I hadn't even done all the jumps yet. Dude, I loved it. <clears throat> what I take away from that place is that the sky's the limit there. I was getting better faster than I wanted, or at least than I expected. It's pretty hard not to at that place. I think like the Baker's factory could probably burn down and those dudes could go camp at club and they wouldn't miss a beat. I think the arena cross series is badass. You know, not to take anything away from that. I'm no less stoked on it today than I was a month ago, but a huge part of racing arena cross was the fact that I was riding for Phoenix and I was riding for him for free, looking to make the money from the arena cross payout. It's much less appealing to be in my own pocket to get myself to Idaho on December 1st. So maybe you would say put a team together with a couple sponsors to pay for it. Uh, good idea, but I've been down that road and it really didn't work out for me. If you know, you know. And then finally about Phoenix Honda. Um, I'm making a point to make the main things that I take away from this situation just be gratitude and appreciation. Because uh, it's kind of easy right now and I don't want to forget that the thing that has me back hyped on riding was when Phoenix offered to let me race the GNCC at Ironman. One of my best all-time dirt bike riding memories. Plus, um, I mean, they're the ones who presented the idea of Arena Cross in the first place. So whatever fun I had with that plan to ride Arena Cross, I owe that to them in a sense. I got to ride that badass bike at a badass track for a week. And for that, I'm grateful. So I appreciate you. I have another video that's going to be like a happy ending new update.